Hello, my name is Michael Pelletier. I'm the pastor of a Three Angels Seventh Avenue Church located at 580 Church Street in Newington. And this is my lovely wife, Elena. Hello. <laughs> she hails from the country of Dominican Republic originally, yeah. and uh, she's been here for a number of years now. And today we'll be speaking a little bit about uh, how to uh, natural expectorant to help with uh, respiratory problems in this time of year. There's quite a, quite a bit, and of course we know about the coronavirus, and uh, that is affects our respiratory so much, but so many others do as well. And uh, we, it started with years ago with our daughter. We noticed when she was about one or two years old that she had asthma, and she had it very bad. And uh, it, every time the winter came and flu season came, we cringed because we were yeah. expecting the worst always. She always suffered for years with asthma and the hardest time breathing. Mm -hmm. Whenever she had any kind of chest uh, sickness, like a cold or, 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 God forbid, the flu, which was really terrible for her. Yeah, and I remember I will sit down on the couch and just <laughs> stay with her all night long holding her because she had such a hard time breathing and she felt more comfortable that way. So. But after a number of years, mm -hmm. you came across a friend of yours from your country. I mentioned Dominican Republic before because this is something that you, uh, yes. uh, that's yes, done there quite often. Mm -hmm. I remember a friend of mine, I uh, was talking to her, I was letting her know how my daughter was having a hard time breathing with a cold, and since my whole daughter has asthma also, so it was making everything very difficult. So she said, oh, I have a wonderful remedy that, that helps my daughter with that. Would you like it? And I said, oh, I would be grateful if you can give it to me because that will help my daughter too. So she gave it to me, and that's why we are presenting to you today. And you'll notice most of the ingredients, the simple ingredients, ones you can get at your store, and most of the ingredients have lots of natural qualities to them that do help uh, boost your immune system as well. But when you put them together, it makes a very uh, effective expectorant when your chest is congested. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what are some of the ingredients here that we have? Well, we have lime. We use a lot of lime in the Dominican Republic. Um, we also have radishes, um, onions, garlic, um, an aloe, aloe, vera, yes. aloe vera, and we um, from the aloe we're gonna use the uh, clear stuff in the middle, which is the pulp, the, pulp, the crystal, or the gel, it. exactly. And then we have watercress. Okay, very good. And so, could you demonstrate how to make some of this? Uh... Actually, this is a very simple and easy to make, and you can find all these things very simple easily at the uh, at your local. Uh, food store. The one that will be a little more difficult is the aloe, but you still can find it in your local food store. Okay. Um, so let's What's this right here? Oh, this is actually, the easiest way to make this is uh, put it through a juicer. The juicer will um, put the pulp out and then you get the juice and that's what you're going to be drinking. Well, what if you don't but have a juicer? If you don't have a juicer, then you go to plan B, which is um, you can use a blender and put everything into a blender. If you have a blender that is not too powerful, add a little bit of water that help things to blend it. Well, blend yes, it. And then you can put it to a cheesecloth, or if you don't have a cheesecloth, find a um, maybe a cotton, something cotton, and uh, wash it well, because remember, the most important thing when we're doing anything that involves food is to make sure that you keep everything well sanitized. We want everything clean. So I will say, um, find, something cheesecloth or and put uh, after you blend everything put it in and then um, try to wring it out and get the juice out that way okay but today we're going to be using a juicer which is easy easy and simple okay so let's start <clears throat> okay so we'll start with the radishes and this is going to make a little bit of noise so letting you know ahead of time <laughs> Now the onions, could these be used as well for to help with breathing for somebody with... Actually what we do is, um, uh, my daughter when she's having, even with my children, any of my children when they have a cold or whatever, I will, if they have a hard time breathing, they can cut the onion in half and uh, put it in a container next to your bed and just let them 
them uh, sleep with uh, breathing the onion at night time. That will help their lungs to open a little bit. Just stick it in. How do you prepare that aloe that's there? I'll show you in one minute. Let me just put this. And this is you have a little garlic here. Um, the lime, we just caught it. You want to set that for a minute? Oh, maybe you can put this the last bit of things in there. Actually, you don't need to uh, put it to the juicer because the aloe, um, you will cut it like this and then you'll kind of peel it. Because what you're going to use is the, uh, the white thing in the middle. So. I love this drink so much I get emotional. That's why my eyes are so, so watery <laughs> at this moment. It's either that or the onions, I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, it's a very uh, strong drink. So, if you having, if you think it's too strong like that, I advise that you you can dilute it, put half of the drink in a in a little With some water. glass, and you put a half water, half of the drink. I I, I just drink it like that. I drink it fast, the night is fine. But um, for some people like have a hard time drinking it, you can. Uh, uh, and another thing is, um, <clears throat> you add to this. Um, a little bit of honey too that makes it more easier to swallow it down too because it's strong a strong drink my daughter got so used to it that it doesn't bother her as much anymore but <laughs> so what we will need is this part you see the um, let me just uh, the gel part the which gel is part and I'm gonna put it in here this is what you're gonna put on your <laughs> this part and so, um, so now this juice right here that I got from the juicer together with the aloe and the juice of the lemon, I forgot my lemon squeezer, so I probably won't squeeze the lemon, but you cut it and you squeeze your lemon and put the juice and the aloe and everything in a blender. And then you blend it and then you have it 100% ready to um, drink. And I will say that you will store this in a uh, glass jar like this, so this little jar, you store it right here and then you put it in the refrigerator, it will last like a whole week. So it's good for at least a week in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. in the refrigerator. so you know, when someone's sick for that time period, they could take that how often? I um, take it twice in the day, uh, in the morning like a fourth of a cup and at night time a fourth of a cup, it's uh, strong. Uh, yes. So um, as I said, if dilute it with water, make it easier to drink and put a little bit of honey and um, just a fourth of a cup before you go to bed, definitely. If you cannot do it in the morning, definitely do it before you go to bed. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, since we didn't have our blender with us, with the aloe would be thrown together with the mixture in the blender and we don't have our lime squeezed with us, but here we have, my wife will squeeze it and show you, it's yeah, very it's simple to, to do. And I will be the brave one to try it. Exactly. <laughs> and again, the other optional ingredient is honey. 
Yes. And uh, that has a number of reasons why we add it to it, but one of them is, as the old adage is, you know, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Exactly. This is not the best tasting, <laughs> but I will try a little bit of it for you right now. As my wife will mix it up and we'll pour it into. No, no, we need that open. Yep, yep. I just want to mix it a little bit. Oh, I was going to put a little honey on there. Yep, there we go. Here, I can put it here mm -hmm. and then you put it on. And it's not too much, that's, that's probably enough. Uh, not too much, about right there maybe, a little more. Yeah, you want a fourth of a cup, but yeah. um, you don't have to about drink right now a fourth of a cup. About that much there is what we so normally take. And uh, here we go. Oof, pretty strong. <laughs> um, when you uh, drink this, I recommend to just stay sitting down for a little bit because it's, it's strong. It's a strong. If you eat something, maybe after your dinner or something like that, maybe better because that way your stomach doesn't get so um, it's queasy or something. Or, um, as I said, just sit down and stay calm and then for about two or three minutes and then you should be fine. <laughs> and as always, consult with your physician before trying any of these natural remedies. And uh, may the Lord bless you with an abundant life. Amen.